Good morning golfers, Glenn Haynes with Aussie Golf Pros. And today is part of our Trouble Shot series. I've come across a lie here at the back of our 17th green at Stonecutters Ridge Golf Club. And it's the ball a bit against the collar of rough. Brought a couple of different options here to try. Typically, a lot of people might try to putt it. Bad idea, I'm not even gonna entertain that. Very easy to catch the collar of rough and just stub it or double hit it. So I've got the sand wedge, the lob wedge, and I've got my three wood. I don't carry a hybrid, My, I've got a bit of an iron wood, a driving iron with the Strixon Z series range, so I've got a fairway wood there, and I think that's gonna be my best option. Are you the best golfer you can be? So I'm gonna start with the sand wedge. I've got a shot of about 20 meters. That's the lob wedge, so. As you can see, the ball's really sitting down there, and there's a lot of rough behind the ball. And if I were to try to chip down into it and try to hit the ball first, then was well, I'm going to catch some grass there, aren't I? And I'm not going to get the result I'm looking for. You know, having a couple of practice swings here, the grass is 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 a bit damp and it's it's fairly grainy. So uh, I expect the the grass to grab hold of the golf club. So I've got to make sure that the club's moving through the grass. And uh, Realistically, I, I, I can't get the, the ball first. I'm gonna to have to take some grass with this. So it's a little bit like a bunker shot, which means that I'm gonna use the bounce of the, the sand wedge, I'm gonna use the sole, and I'm gonna open the face a little bit to increase the bounce and get that club gliding through the grass rather than digging in. The grass is gonna grab this, this club a little bit though. Right, like a bunker shot, a bit of a wider stance, a little bit lower, open face, and a, and a longer swing. I'm gonna to try to pitch it about halfway. Very happy with that. It's always tricky to work out how far the ball's gonna roll. I don't know, that's fairly good. All right, let's check another option. Let's recreate that lie. As you can see there, just zoom in, just you can see how much grass I've grabbed here. It's all grainy. But because I kept the club moving through, kept the chest moving through the shot, I was able to get through that grainy grass. Right, different option, my fairway wood. And very much like a putt here, I am gonna to try to, to get hold of the golf ball. I'm gonna be able to get the top half of it because it's sitting down below that collar of rough. Now this is it's like a putt, but it's more powerful than a putter, so I can get through that grass a bit easier. This is gonna be a very similar result, a little shy. But to me, that's a bit safer. It, it really does depend on the line. You have to take each shot on its merits. But there are a couple of options there that, that you might not consider. You know, a lot of people would maybe try to play it off the back foot, hit down on it, or try to putt it. And neither of those are particularly effective. I, I prefer these two options. A bunker type shot with plenty of loft and an open face, or a bit of a long putt with a hybrid or a fairway method. Give each of these a go. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice to get used to them. And I would have liked to get them a little bit closer, but with a bit more practice, I, I think I can. I look forward to seeing you in our next Trouble Shot series video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to hear your comments about what Trouble Shot you have out in the golf course that you'd like some help with. See you next time.